yeah, sorry about that. It wouldn't be one of my streams had the capture card not decided to mess up multiple times due to it being highly sensitive to literally everything. So yeah, I'm um, just gonna take a moment to keep it paused for a bit. But yeah, sorry about that. Just kind of happens. Like I literally just moved barely an inch, and apparently I accidentally touched a wire with probably my GameCube controller's wire, um, which then caused it to flash like that. So yeah. Um, it's now back into the match. But yeah, that kind of stuff just happens all the time and it's really annoying, sorry. At least I'm starting to notice it a lot more, as I used to never notice it and then I would record a stream for like an hour and nobody would say anything, which would always be fun to have no, no idea what was happening. Like during the Animal Crossing Easter stream. Yeah, Crumb with unfortunate SD again. Um, yeah, I would have just restarted CP tournament like I did earlier, but this one was already 37 minutes in, so. Um, yeah, and I don't really have that much time, so. Pretty much just have time in the CP tournament, honestly. But yeah, that could have been Mario stock potentially, although Mario got pretty good you know, the um, backer there as well. But also the up special. Yeah, air dodges directly into prom, which is going to be a forward smash for sure. Yeah, I guess the down air to grab it to down air. I believe that was like up throw down air. I was just surprised that the first down air actually connected to a grab. Yeah, it's gonna be a full solo for Mario, so that will be the game. Mario moving on to semi-finals against Walmart. Next up is going to be Terry versus Robin. Yoshi's Island Bro. This will be an up air from Robin. Tries to go for the up smash, although it doesn't connect. It's a back air, though. But yeah, I really like how the CPU Robins just kind of throw out aerials as long as they have love and sort of like. It doesn't really make much sense of what aerials they do or when they do them, but they'll just throw out aerials and it kind of just works sometimes. Like, most of those aerials connected, the last three didn't. Or at least if they did connect, they didn't really do much. And Terry, for some reason, camping out Robin without Levin Sword, and then attacking Robin whenever she has Levin Sword. Slight special coming out from Robin to counter the Buster Wolf from Terry. And the back air will take the stock. Be rapid jab, or not rapid jab, but jab into down special coming out from Terry, although the down special actually didn't connect. Actually traded with our fire there from Terry. It catches up hard fires home and then throws it back at Terry. Hello. Um, Terry lands down tilt to slide special for the stock. Or forward special, I guess, in Terry's case. We get down special coming out from Terry into a forward special. It's an up tilt into an up smash. what kind of technique Robin had there, but I mean, I guess it works. Be 
probably a Trixie who comes out on top of the stock as it is currently pretty even. Looks like Robin is going to be losing Levin Sword here, so it's going to be very fair towards Terry at the moment. Plus, Terry does have Goon Leader as well, but it's still pretty even. You know, down tilt to Buster Wolf will take the stock. Be another Buster Wolf coming out from Terry. We'll be doing a lot of damage. I guess the arc fire into up air, so that will be the stock. It's back air. Tries to cover the back specials, although neither connect. It's weird that neutral special beat out arc fire didn't have it happen. I guess the upper to back air is an interesting string. Forward air to Hell Thunder and then gets the forward air edge guard and it does actually connect, so that will be the stock. A good tactician has nothing to fear. So yeah, Robin moving on to semifinals. Next up is going to be Richter versus Zona for the finals of round two. Our final game of round two. I'm gonna be going back to Battlefield. Triple up tilt from Zelda, trying to get an up match off of it as well. But it didn't connect. And somehow Phantom went through the cross. I figured that it would not go through. Like, I figured it would just be destroyed like normal. But yeah, cross into this special player coming out from Victory. to be doing a bit of damage. Gets dragged out Noosh Slayer to up throw. And then almost an up air out of it as well. And then. Forward air did actually kill there. Um, I don't know if that was just poor DI or if Richter just realized that he probably wasn't going to be able to recover from that, but. This is going to be a new special from Richter to take the stock. So, yeah, I was kind of wondering what Richter's game plan was there. I guess it was just a. Uh, Start throwing out projectiles until it works. It's kind of funny, like he started using more projectiles against the character that, you know, has a reflector and kind of does pretty well versus projectile based characters. Um, and then in the game where he plays someone without a reflector, he plays a lot more aggressively. And a lot more holy waters, a lot more um, axes this game. Both of them go for grab there. If Zelda would have landed a grab, that definitely would have been Richter's stock. Well, I don't know. Richter's fourth throw is pretty strong. But yeah, Richter unable to recover there. Back throw from Richter here for sure. Yeah, it gets the cross on Zelda, although um, it's just back towards the stage, so it's not really going to be doing too much. It does a bit of damage, I guess. And the forward smash will take the stock, so Richter only at 5.8%, which isn't too bad. Definitely a winnable game. Zelda. If Zelda would have landed that off that would have been kind of... Although, I'm sorry if Zelda doesn't send in the direction that you're holding. That would be a much more interesting way to see up special. Like, so, like, if you used up special off stage, you could, like, hold to the left in that situation, and then it would drag Richter left, and then you could combo it into the second hit. Yeah, I still got to see a nice down air from Zelda. But yeah, you, like, up special, and then you hold left, that sends Richter left, and then you hit him with the second hit of up special. Um, and continue sending them into the blast zone. And next up is going to be All Mario vs. Mario for the left side of the bracket. Three, two, one, After 
it's gonna be Robin versus Zelda. So Mario, basically the only non-zoner in CP tournament at the moment, as everyone else has been eliminated. Be a forwarder here, no, that's for the downer instead. As soon as I saw him walk off stage, I thought maybe, but I mean, with the way that he was falling, he would have had to jump forward or anything. So. Would have been a bit risky. Definitely not because he would have been with Mario. Mario. For some reason, the CPU all bars are probably the best CPU at edge guarding. I don't really know what it is about them, but they, I've always seen them do a lot better than most of the other characters at edge guarding. Whether it just be back airs or um, just landing like forward or off stage, landing down airs, using the pigment to your advantage, like using the air there to save yourself from being edge guarded. Could just be Olimar himself. He's really good at edge guarding and really hard to edge guard um, in general. But yeah. It's gonna be an up air with the purple pigment. We're currently with two purple pigments, so a bit dangerous. Mario pretty much just needs enough to match out of fuel to be able to finish off the stock. We're gonna get down here and that almost killed. Be an up throw here from Omar. Get a back throw from Mario, doesn't kill just yet. Gets the flood. Another flood. Third flood. Well, uh, doesn't really do that much after the first one. I feel like Mario's flood used to sit a lot more uh, horizontally than vertically in the previous match game. I don't know really if I remember if that's true or not. That could just be me remembering, like, uh, Mario flooding Ike's slide special. If Ike's slide special above Mario, and then Mario turned around and went in the direct- or flooded in the same direction that Ike was moving towards. Um, uh, then it would just launch Ike off stage. But yeah, looks like it's gonna be an up air from home, it's definitely not too great a way to start off the stock with Mario. We could see all Mario go for the triple purple one, though. It's gonna get backered by Mario. So, not a very easy to win game for Mario, for sure, but technically winnable. Like, basically, he needs to get a really good edge guard on Olimar, with like a forwarder, or Olimar needs to SD. I mean, I guess Mario can try to play without getting hit too much, but I mean, it's either there, he took a bit of percent. Oh, I didn't realize that. Tilted that much. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't a lunch. It's not like it was because for some reason I was saying Mario was at 10 when he was at 15. So it only did 9, not 14. Which isn't that much more, but. Yeah. If Mario would have caved there, that would have been an interesting way to potentially end the stock, although Homer could have recovered from it. Yeah, the up smash from the purple pigment actually killing there at 80. Um, oh yeah, the purple pigment. I was kind of surprised by that for, for a second, but then I was like, oh yeah, that's what made Oliver broken in the past. I mean, he's still pretty good, but um, not as good as he used to be. So yeah, Oliver moving on to finals versus either Robin or Zelda. There were a lot of blonde characters on the race side of bracket, I just realized. Three, two, one, go! Kind of a weird time to mention it, but I'm gonna be on Town City. Yeah, 
probably not gonna have enough time to talk to all the villagers tonight at crossing, to be honest. I'll probably only have enough time to maybe hit some rocks and get the painting imported. Then I bought. Fossils, but yeah, not really gonna have too much time off stream for that. But anyway, Zelda not looking too great here. Gonna be getting that kind of jab there. Um, very strong. If, if Robin would have hit that, I would have gone. Yeah, Ford are definitely gonna be taking the stock. for being CPU Robin, they've been playing pretty fast. Like the Zelda's been just regular Zelda speed, I would say, but for Robin, I mean, yeah, just look at that dash dance. I don't think it's that fully charged juice special there. Though it almost healed, actually. If Zelda would have been at that person, then we even back our kill. I guess that's town and city, but. And Levin Sword, maybe. But I was just kind of surprised that it killed that early. I didn't realize it was strong enough to do that. But yeah, Levin Sword, town and city kind of all affected that. Robin was actually able to recover from that as well. Like, I used to not think Robin was that bad. Yeah, like seeing this would make me definitely consider Robin not being too bad of a character, but still low slash bottom of mid tier kind of character, in my opinion. Although I don't know, I might have to make a new show as soon as it's been. Or I guess I made one towards the beginning of the update, so I might as well try to do one towards the end, I guess. Although there are a lot of changes that I would make to my current tier list. Especially with the Cloud Space or placement as yeah, for some reason Cloud's been doing really well recently. It could just be all the tournaments have been online. Uh, a lot of people have been using Cloud online because he's good there. But yeah, Robin with the background's gonna be taking the stock. But yeah. Um, like I didn't think Cloud was that great even after the patch and everyone was saying like Cloud was high tier. But honestly now I could maybe see it just final. due to results. But yeah, I got a mirrored final here, which is always nice. Um, gonna be Olimar versus Robin. With the way Olimar's played tonight, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Olimar. Olimar has been popping off in the last few games. Three, I haven't really been commentating two, it that much one, because, go. I mean, he basically just does Pikmin throws and then whenever he decides to approach, it's usually just like forward errors and stuff. Like, he generally does the same thing just over and over again if you watch him, but at least with like the other CPUs, they kind of mix it up. Yeah, pretty good art fire there for Robin. Forward air, trying to get the net hurt there. Huh. Yeah, it gets the fully charged your special. Let's get down there. It gets the forward air. Um, the Robin does lose Levin Sword. After that first few interactions there from Olimar, I didn't really been landing that many hits against the back with the purple pigment though. If that would have been at ledge, would have killed. Yeah, luckily that was the yellow pigment, so electricity and all that, but yeah, that is going to be the stock. We had down tilt there for Olimar. I really like how Olimar is using the light to kind of just cap out um, a lot of the projectiles from Robin. Or just like baiting Robin into performing moves that um, have limited usage. Such as like the areas and stuff. Love and sword. Gonna be a grab there from Olimar that had a ton of range. Yeah, that forward air is going to be taking out two of the Pikmin. Omar with the default Pikmin set. Going to be landing that dish land. 
Didn't really have any other pick, but it gets the downer actually. That's a really nice downer. Oh my. Kinda of struggling to like few hits there. I don't know. It lands an upsell, tries to get an upper out of it. He does get one there. I don't know if it's really that he did, and then gets upsell four there. A bit of item play coming out for Robin. But yeah, pretty good down there there from Omar. Robin once able to tech it. Maybe a four there from Omar. If Olimar, I was gonna say, if he gets a 4 there, I'm gonna the game, but 4 tilt will also do it. So yeah, Olimar, taking the game. But yeah, Olimar was definitely popping off in the last few games. On that second stock, he kind of struggled a bit to do anything to Robin, and like towards the end of the first stock that Robin had, but yeah, so pretty good games from Olimar. Like, I know a lot of people don't really like watching Olimar or any of that kind of stuff, as he is pretty boring. Um, like, I personally don't really like to watch Olimar, although it's, I don't really mind him, like, it's not something that really bothers me. It's like one of those things where people just don't like him because he plays the zoner character, or he's like a much slower zoner character, but obviously because I play Mega Man, which is a bit slower as well, um, kind of like to see how the interactions work. But yeah, um, definitely some interesting games, either way is what I strive to say, like, even if you don't like Olimar, there's some pretty good stuff. Especially for an all more CPM. So yeah, that's going to be it for now. Um, tomorrow, I believe I'll actually get around to streaming Animal Crossing. As I've got a lot of um, in-town celebrations to do, and I've been saving those for on stream. Like I built a bridge, I built the sister shop, and then I upgraded the museum. So all of that stuff has to be um, having like ceremonies and stuff in the game. So definitely doing that. I did miss the concert on Saturday because I was really busy. And I wasn't able to stream Saturday, Sunday, um, or Saturday or Friday, actually. But yeah, um, tomorrow, Animal Crossing, and then Wednesday I should have my controller back, so maybe Viewer Battles will load. Or actually, I'll do a CB tournament then, and then after that, maybe Viewer Battles. Something. So yeah, I guess I'll see everyone in the next.